I am on a mission. And my mission is to change the way that menopause is perceived and treated. Well, because they were using the term estrogen, right? Oh, you're losing estrogen, I'm going to give you estrogen. Very few people questioned what that was about, right? Okay, so they're on estrogen, but it's not bioidentical. Okay. We're only allowed to treat the symptoms, right? Because that's what Premarin does, it treats the symptoms. And by the way, there's many ways to treat the symptoms of menopause, but I don't really care about that because it doesn't treat the cause, right? And what starts to happen is, believe me, it was, it was approved for short-term use, okay? One month, two months, three months. How long do you think that lasted? <laughs> no, as soon as women started taking it and they got off it and their hot flashes came back on, they went back on it again, right? And all of a sudden, you started to extend the use of this estrogen-like drug that was only supposed to be used for a few months. All these women were taking Premarin for a longer extended time, right? Okay, Off-label use at that point, but again, it became label use because once a lot of people are doing it, you know, then you can get that to be a label use, if you will, or the standard of care. So all of a sudden, they started noticing, and this is in the 80s, that there was a, an increase in the, in the amounts of uterine cancer being seen in these women who were being treated with these estrogens, okay? So of course, what happened at this point in time? There was a big splash in the news, okay? And everybody went off their hormones, right? So now women are off their estrogens and they're miserable again, right? And they're, and they're demanding something, okay? And also, besides them being miserable, what we're starting to understand is that, oh, this is really interesting. Women all through, you know, different age groups have a lower risk of heart disease than men, right? Okay. Until menopause, when all of a sudden their risk jumps up to that of a man. What happens to women in menopause, right, when they lose the ability to make their own sex hormones? Their risk for heart attacks go up. 